wouldn't say evolution ha is in itself an ideology. It's often been used for ideological purposes. I mean, it's u been used since 1859, since Darwin published his Origin of Species in defense of almost every kind of ism you can imagine. You know, communism and capitalism, racism, eugenics, uh, and on and on you could go. Atheism today, of course, all those isms. And I think what happens in the history of science, and you find this quite often actually, is you get a big, a, a big theory of science that's really successful. And then people then try and use the prestige of that scientific theory to support all kinds of ideologies. And I think that's very much what's happened in the case of evolution. Well, I think one of the ideas is the idea um, that in evolution there's a kind of struggle for existence, you know, survival for the fittest. Now, actually, the phrase survival of the fittest doesn't come from Darwin himself, but it comes from Herbert Spencer, who was one of the great popularizers of Darwinism in the late 19th century. And he introduced that idea. And it's actually not a very good um, description of what happens in biology. But people have picked up on that idea. And of course, it was picked up by the Kaiser during the First World War and the idea that might is right. And so that was one of the ideologies that were used to uh, justify uh, German militaristic expansion during the First World War. And again, you get the same in Hitler. You know, the idea that might is right, struggle for survival, that the, the, the pure race is the one that's going to survive and is going to conquer the world and so forth. So evolution has been used in that kind of way and abused. I mean, there's nothing intrinsically in the biology itself to say that you should try and copy what's going on there. But I think politicians have seen it as an opportunity to justify their expansionist and, in the case of Hitler, really terrible, uh, cruel policies. And so that's one very dramatic way in which it's been taken. Another way, I suppose, is in racism, where the very fact that people do vary somewhat in genetics um, and, and the, the way they look and so forth, and, and they've tried to justify uh, the evolutionary process as a way of being racist and of treating people differently just because they have a black skin or whatever it might be. Again, completely unjustified by the theory of, ev of evolution, but people have tried to take the ideology in that direction.